Sorry, my camera fell. There we go. Hey guys, so first of all, welcome to my channel, my website, my blog, whatever you guys are <laughs> watching this on. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the stuff that I take with me when I travel, whether it's international or domestic. But this is mainly, this one specifically is going to be international. Um, and then also be talking about some of the stuff that I would suggest, um, maybe you guys try out, just in case. So, let's get into it! Yay! Okay, so, uh, first off, I'm gonna say the first couple of things I'm gonna show you are gonna go in my carry-on. So, obviously, we have sunglasses. So, um, my, I always put these in my carry-on. Of course, my glasses and my contacts all go in my carry-on. And then I have sanitizer, very nice to have. Also have tissues. I said this is all going in my carry-on. Um, I also have so with the sanitizer, I always take more than one. So obviously these are travel size. These are scented. So I will put one in my personal and one in my carry-on. And then one go this, and then this one, the big one, goes in my suitcase. Suitcase, unless for some reason I don't have these, then I will just put this. Again, this is travel size, so it honestly depends on that. And then I have my headphones. These are wireless. I also have the plug-in headphones. Wall charger, wall plug-in. Um. I would honestly strongly recommend um, take two or three of these. If you don't have a lot, you can always go to the dollar store and buy them. They're pretty much universal. or USB ports. Um, the reason I say that is because I have lost them in the airport. I have left them on the plane, plugged in, or just whatever. It's just nice to have more than one. Adapter. Um, the one thing with adapters is make sure you check the countries you're going the country you're going to is on it so this one specifically is for north and south america australia new zealand and europe so so great bit sorry great britain australia europe and north america are on it so obviously with me going to china or korea this is not the charger and then i have Eye drops. Like I said, I wear glasses and contacts. Eye drops are pretty much necessary for me. And then I have my little pouch of um, meds, I guess, because it's got my travel Advil, my drama, me, my chapstick, as well as an eight compartment, eight eight section compartment case for the rest of my vitamins, as well as a cool band. For those of you who don't know what a cool band is, a cool band is um, made so you soak it for overnight and then you can wear it for 24 hours. So it works well with heat. Uh, flash drives. I was thinking I was about to say USB drive, sorry. Flash drives. Um, these are 64 gigabytes a piece, which um, I use a lot of these because when I empty out my camera, I always make sure I back up all my pictures on one of those flash drives just in case something happens to my camera or my computer crashes. I have those. So those will go in my carry-on. And then I have a hat or beanie. Hat, beanie, whatever. And then I have gloves inside of it. Um, I don't have my earmuffs. With Excuse me. When I find my earmuffs, I will show you my earmuffs as I pack them. Um, not really pack them, but kind of put them away with the rest of this stuff so I know where it's at when I need to pack. And then I have um, a miniature notebook because I just like to write down basically uh, phone numbers, addresses, anything like that. Any... Um, information I need, especially like consulate information and stuff like that. Um, obviously, a lighter. 
So the one thing I will say about lighters is uh, check uh, the restrictions on the country you're going to because you may be able to fly in with the lighter but you might not be able to fly out with the lighter and the reason I say that is because I didn't know this, I learned from experience, I went to Cebu and I was, I was not aware that it was illegal to take lighters outside of Cebu. I, I was not aware of this. I mean, all they're going to do, it was in my check bag, all they're going to do is take it away from you. That's it. They're not going to um, fine you or anything like that if they see it. Like I said, I'm not exact. that's the first time I've ever heard about that. I've never had an issue taking a lighter in a country before. Now, I should, I should specify, I don't smoke. I carry a lighter because it's um, nice to have if you have to light a candle or it's like a birthday candle or a candle in general. It's just nice to have. So that's um, pretty much everything I have right now. Some of the stuff that goes in my carry-on, obviously, is going to be my phone, my iPod, my laptop and camera, as well as any food, any chargers, anything like that. It's pretty much going in my carry-on. Um, I will be making a detailed list of everything I uh, as in my carry-on in a separate video, as well as everything in my checked uh, bag. So keep an eye out for those videos. So let's move on to the stuff that I put in my uh, checked luggage. So, obviously, we have all of our bathroom stuff. Um, I should real I should mention that some of the stuff I'll, I'll mention, but it won't physically be here, and that's probably because I have no use for it right, right now to be in this pile. So, um, I have two, I have about four of these, three <laughs> four of these containers. Obviously, they're all for different things. This one is basically, it's got spare chapstick, a two-way mirror, and a um, charcoal nose strip. And this, I would normally put like my Q-tips and my uh, cotton pads in. This one's got band-aids in it, so uh, band-aids for uh, ointment or anything like that. If I don't feel like taking my first aid kit. I do have a first aid kit currently, it's, I have yet to find it, but, um, you can, like I said, you can buy a first aid kit in Walmart, it's already pre-made. I like, I normally just take, um, depending on where I'm going, how long I'm going to be gone, I normally make a smaller one. One of these will actually go in my personal item, because, um, band-aids you can always use. Never, never not use band-aids, especially because I'm a klutz. <laughs> Some of the other things I take are Dramamine and the bands. Um, obviously, I have one in my carry-on. Um, so, I always travel more than one because sometimes um, it's happened to me before. I've been in a country. I had a two, I had a layover. One of them is... Um, one of them's always like almost empty, and then one of them's full. So I'll put the empty one in my personal, and then or my carry-on, and then I'll put the full one in my check bag. That way, I have a backup should I need it. And then the bands are in case I run out of Dramamine on my trip, and I don't want to have to buy it or I can't find it. So that's what the bands are for. These will also go in my carry-on. Um. Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Um, um, I should mention that I do take vitamins. Obviously, my vitamins aren't going to be in this pile currently because I take them every day and there's no sense to, for them to be here. So, um, start bathroom stuff. Face wash. Um, I have... I debate whether or not to put it in my carry-on or my check luggage depending on if I can find the travel so that you can get this in Walmart so this you can't always find travel size in Walmart so if I have to buy the bigger one I'll put it in my check bag and then I just will use um, a wet wipe um, 
Vaseline. Um, I take Vaseline because, um, for example, your chapstick melts. It's nice to have. And because it is chop size, I can put it in my carry-on if I need to. Or I can put it in my check bag. Say your chapstick gets lost or whatever. You don't have to worry about it because you can use this as chapstick. Um, for breeze to go. So I have five. That's not it. I have two of these. This one will go in my carry-on because it's travel size. But so is this one, but this one's full, so this one's gonna go in my check luggage. The reason I take two is because you never know when you're gonna need it. And I just like to have it because if you travel a lot, especially if you travel in Lashley, you know that smell when you open your suitcase after flying for so many hours. It's not I I don't like it. My opinion is for reason. <laughs> It's just nice to have, especially if for some reason you have a layover and you take a shower um, at the airport. It's just nice to have. You can spray your clothes, your dirty clothes, and it won't stink up your entire carry-on. Trust me, you don't want that. Um, bobby pins. Always, always take bobby pins. Um, ex so I always take a full thing of bobby pins, and then I always take a full thing of hair ties. Um, the bobby pins and the hair ties, you can get, you can buy a pack in the dollar store. If you're like me and you lose hair ties like nobody's business, you know how annoying it is to buy, to lose good ones. Dollar store, trust me, no, you won't know about that. And then I have my hair buns. I have two different sizes, large and small. They just kind of help give your hair a full little look, especially when it's up. As well as, um, make it look a little better. Professional, I guess. So, I don't know. And then I have... Hair gel. Hair mousse. Heat protection. Um. I take heat protection with me because I have, um... If I decide to curl my hair or... What's the other one? Straighten my hair. Sorry, I just don't think about that. It's... Almost on the clock at night, sorry. It's just nice to have. It's 24 hours, it's very great. Um, I also have wrinkle release. It helps um, with, like, if you take a fancy boss or dress clothes or anything like that, it keeps them poop. You spray it on your clothes and you pull, and it helps get rid of wrinkles. And so it's a life changer. I have a mini Tide pen to go. I also have two other ones that I normally have. Currently, I don't have any more because they ran out. But these are nice to have. I always keep them on my person because you never know when you need one. Um, somebody, when I was in New Zealand, I spilled something on me. And one of the ladies in the bathroom showed me one of these. And I've never been more grateful for this. Um, like I said, hair clips, pens, always, always take more than two pens. You never know how many, uh, you never know how many pens you need. So what I normally do is I'll put two or three in my, in my personal item and two or three in my carry-on. You never, like I said, you can never have enough pens. And then I have floss, floss is just nice in general, obviously. Very nice to have. More band-aids. I'm gonna put these with my other band-aids. And then I also have um what do you call this? It's it's tape. It's like bandage tape. I don't know what you call it. I can't think of it right now. And then I have KT tape. These are just nice to have because you never know when you pull a muscle or something. You don't have to worry about going to that. You can just tape it. <coughs> Ow. Um, and then I have lint rollers. Lint rollers are nice to have in general. You never know when you're going to need them. You never know when you're going to need them. So... The other thing is 
frizz ow frizz control oh, this one's a spray it's 24 hours this one's a kind of like a gel and it's 72 hours obviously i use these a lot they're very very nice to have especially if you're going somewhere with high humidity like hawaii or italy or um where else sorry i'm starting to think I also fly with I should take dry shampoo. Um obviously I take shampoo and conditioner and dry shampoo is just nice to have. Obviously this is too big to put in my carry-on, so this was my check bag. But I will take a container of baby powder in my carry-on as a substitute for the dry shampoo because it works the same way. And then I have a sleeping mask. This is an overnight sleeping mask. I got this in Walmart. This one is travel size. It helps with um, moisture control at night. Spray deodorant. Um, obviously, I don't have my other deodorant because I use it every day. But spray deodorant's nice um, if you're traveling and you let and you know you're gonna be gone and it's gonna get warm. You're gonna wear a dress or whatever. It's nice to have party spray um this one's one of my favorites it's got glitter in it so it adds kind of like a sparkly touch to it and then i have a hair mask um i always take two or three hair masks with me just because not only is it a great way to kind of make friends but it's also a way to keep your hair nice and healthy looking and then i have these these are uh, nasal strips not for sleep they're for acne oh, God, sorry um i also take this is cuticle oil and it's for your fingernails and then i also have it's not labeled but this is face mist face mist is nice to have in general because it helps uh, give your face kind of like a hydration throughout your flights um, so these are one of my favorites. <laughs> They're elf ears. Can you? I don't know if you can see. They're elf ears. I, there's one on each side. They're one of my favorite things. Um, obviously, I don't wear them all the time, but if I know I'm going to be gone, say, during... Halloween or something like that. I like to make sure I take stuff like that. The other thing I take is I also take glitter. I have different kinds of glitter. I have uh, thin glitter, small piece glitter, big piece glitter, medium piece glitter. And they're all different colors. Um, these are all travel size. I have, so right now I only have six colors. And I'm trying to make sure you can see them. But, um, I was, I normally carry, there's 13 colors, I gotta stock up on some. And it's nice if, uh, where you're going, ha you know, you're gonna be around kids. It's just nice, because you never know when you're gonna need them, and it keeps them entertained. And then I also take, uh, travel tattoos, temporary tattoos, travel tattoos, same thing. Um, these, these you can get during Halloween. They're temporary tattoos. These I ordered off of Amazon. Um, unfortunately, these are gifts. I can't tell you exactly what kind they are. I will say these are themed. They're Harry Potter themed. That's all I'm really on that one. Just because in case the person who who, the, who those are for sees this. And then I have, this is a petty pedicure foot cream. It helps with uh, dry skin. Especially when it's hot. And then I have this. This is a... Uh, Activating charcoal for your teeth. Um, I have this, and then I have uh, pens that I will use to wipe my teeth as I travel. It's just nice to have. Um, obviously, a lot of people go and get your teeth cleaned. I don't do it all the time. So, and then I have this. This is a kit I got off of Amazon. I think it was like ten dollars or so. It's um. Now, it's what is I keep falling out. It's got um tweezers. Um, 
as well as a pick and some other stuff. Um, these are, it's, it's an acne kit. Um, you don't necessarily have to use it for acne. Um, I use it to help, um, it, I normally use it if I get something stuck in my finger or I get... Um, a splinter or something like that. That's what I'm use them for. And then, let's see. Oh. These. I honestly recommend getting these. Ooh, I'm sorry, myself. So, um, obviously this is Odorex. You can get it in the shoe, uh, in the, where the doctor shows are in Walmart. In the, f uh, foot insert, feet, shoe inserts, foot inserts, I don't know why. Um, it's, for, it helps with sweat. So if you don't sweat, it also helps with smell, athlete's foot, and all that. So this one you can spray directly on your feet, which helps with the sweating. This is, this one's the same thing. Well, this one's a different brand, but it's the same thing. But this one's uh, only for shoes. I don't put it on your skin. But it's also for shoe protection. I take two because I will, uh, sh I will spray my shoes. And if, say, so my typical day starts about, if I have something booked, it starts about, let's say, 7 o'clock. So I'll get up, spray my feet in the morning, and then go do what I need to. And then probably by, like, 11 o'clock, I'm probably back in my hotel room, taking, uh, either changing or taking a shower. So I'll swap out my shoes, spray the shoes I wore, spray my feet again. That way my shoes won't smell. And then when I get back into my room at like 8, 9 o'clock at night, I spray my shoes one more time to help with the smell. So, that's what I take. And then I also take a journal. I, like I said, I have a big one and a little one. This one's pri pri primarily for uh, phone numbers, any important information. Phone numbers, banking information, um... Email addresses, physical addresses, anything like that goes in here. And then this one is where I write down my checklist, my packing list, all my stuff like that. As well as um, any, any kind of notes I need to make for my trip specifically. And then this, this is a workout. It says wake up and workout. It basically, it says Monday, it says Sunday, yeah, Sunday through Saturday, and it's got workout, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, step, water, everything you need. Um, this is mainly to track my steps, not my steps, my food count, and my workout. Um, I do wear a Fitbit, which also has, which tracks my heart rate, my sleep rate my everything like that so i'm not worried about steps the journal is more for what i eat in case i can't access um my the wi-fi while i'm out and about so that's pretty much everything um like i said obviously there are some stuff i don't have currently that i that i normally do take but i don't have it currently sitting on the floor with me and that is because it's stuff that I use not only every day, but it's also stuff I run out of. So, um, that's pretty, pretty much it. Um, so, yeah. So, um, as I go through and I start getting some more stuff I miss and things like that, and things like that I will definitely make another video as an update. Um. Obviously, with COVID, I can't really make a lot of videos. Oh, that sounds really bad. Sorry. Um, my bacteria and vanilla. Um, it's just nice to try. Um, my sanitizer came open. Um, like I said, that's much it like I said most most of this stuff is either brand new or I don't use it so I'm not worried about it um as I go through and I update 
as hopefully as we get closer to me leaving to go to China, I will be putting my list and everything together. So kind of keep an eye out and I'll make sure um, to post um, a detailed description. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video kind of helped you and it gave you references. Um, I'll try and add links to where I bought each of the stuff I use. If not, I will make a totally separate video and show you where I got what, stuff like that. So thank you.